Now, with the fuel prices in the UK going through the roof and costing an average family car £100 to fill, everybody is feeling the strain, which is not good. So what's up guys and welcome back to another video. Now, although the fuel prices have gone a little bit crazy in the UK, there is some positive stuff that comes with it. And the positive stuff that comes with it is the higher the fuel prices go, the more we are encouraged to do cardio. Or this, look, walking. Okay, so although fuel prices have gone absolutely mental and everybody is struggling, it means that we are taking extra measures to save money by doing things like walking, which might be thinking, ugh, I can't be bothered to walk, but walking is cardio and cardio is good for your health, physically and mentally. Okay, so about a year ago, not a year, about 10 months ago, I bought my dream car, which was a very stupidly expensive Mercedes AMG, and I love this car, but this was before the fuel prices went crazy. So because of the fuel prices being so high, I am now being forced into walking more, which isn't a big issue, especially when it's lovely, warm, and sunny. Now, the good thing is, it means that with all this walking I'm doing, and I'm doing about 20,000 steps every day, it means I am losing a lot of weight, which is ideal. Because, you know, we're going to the gym, we're training, we're lifting weights, we're doing cardio, we get ripped and lean. But this, for me personally, is the best form of cardio. Now, I'll be honest, since I've been forced into having to walk more, I have massively seen a change in my physique and overall weight. Now, I did make a video three months ago with how my condition looked, which was a little bit chubby and a little bit overweight, around about 93 kilos, whereas now I am around 86 kilos, sometimes a little bit less, and it is all down to this, walking. So basically what I'm trying to say in this video is although everybody is feeling the pinch and struggling with the increased fuel prices, it means we are being forced to take other measures, which is this, walking. And it's not a bad thing, okay? Especially when it's summertime, it's not a bad thing. So try to take something negative and make it into a positive. Now, as I said, me doing 20,000, 25,000 steps every day, sometimes I can't be bothered, but when I look in the mirror and I see the difference in physique and see how my body is changing, I'm looking going, hmm, actually, all that cardio is worth it. So in a way, I'm kind of happy that the fuel prices have went up because I'm not driving around as much, so I'm saving there, but also I am increasing my fitness and also getting trimmer and slimmer. Now, next week I am going to do a transformation video because three months ago I made a video about how I was feeling and how I was looking. I stripped off and I showed you guys exactly how I looked. So I'm going to do exactly the same next week. I'm going to strip down and I'm going to show you what all of this cardio has actually done for my physique. Okay, there will be nothing hidden, no surprises, nothing, just be me stripping off front of the camera to show you guys what is possible to achieve in a few months of just doing more and more walking. Okay, so just a very quick, brief, short video because I thought I'd make a video while I was walking. And this is the Newcastle Hoppings. I don't know if you can see this in the distance yet. So this is Newcastle. And a lot of people have said, why is there cows on the field? And that's the amazing thing about Newcastle is we have got what's called the Taumwa and every year the Hoppings, which is a massive big fun fair, comes and uh, yeah, the cows are entertained. So yeah, just in case you're wondering why there's a big field full of cows, just something I'm used to because I'm from Newcastle. Okay, so I'm going to leave this video here. I just wanted to give my little rant and rave about how I feel about the fuel prices going up and to remind you guys that this is actually not a bad thing. So ditch the car, start walking more, get more cardio, get more steps, and uh, be more happy, be more productive, be more active. Until the next video, stay safe, take care, one foot in front of the other, and get your ass moving. See you next time. Oh, and one last thing before we end the video. I just want to show you how friendly Geordie cows are. Check out that bad boy. Boo. Not impressed.